Well, we're on our second mission here to the Bahamas. We got Adisha, Rich, Leonis. We got three boats heading over. We're hitting a couple different locations. We got a lot of goods on board. This time, been bringing over a lot of building supplies, help them rebuild. Of course, food and water is still a necessity. Doing what we can do, man. A huge shout out to Gold Coast Schools, you know, putting all this together as well. Isla Bella Beach Resort, you know, is a, a major help in this uh, mission as well. And of course, Small Marker 50 Relief Foundation and, and everybody who gave both money and goods. Oh, yeah. so without the money, we can't afford the fuel. And without the goods, they don't eat or drink. So it's a good cause. Here we go. James. James. And yep. Oscar. Yep. Just you and Oscar brought all this out of the house. <laughs> Oscar didn't help too much, did he? No, he didn't. Unless it didn't involve food. What? He's my bodyguard. <laughs> this car was in the garage? Yeah. Bouncing against the wall, hitting the wall every couple of seconds. I thought the wall was going to collapse. Because you had garage doors here. This the kitchen, all the, all the cabinets, everything came down the, the zinc. The water just keep climbing up here, climbing up, climbing up. <laughs> this, this way I sleep. I put a tail in here and uh, air mat. This was what day? August the 17th. Right here in this house. We had a people an entertainer came in and played in the music. I'm in the bathtub over here. In the tub. Did the water come in this room? Yeah. There's the bathtub. But let me show you where we're at relative to the water level as it sits now. This is where he's living. In a tent upstairs. From down there, was it up here? Like this glass, the water was like this high. From here, you've got to be 20 feet above the water level. Right, I look out through the window and around, and everything looked like like the ocean on a rough on a rough day, and the boat.
shelter. Everybody had to run from the shelter to this yellow house here and go upstairs. Because the shelter was flooded with water. So the lady who lives upstairs, she had to take everybody from the shelter here up in her apartment. But this one just came with the king tide. And they really didn't explain what a king tide is. Because if they take time sometimes to educate the people that uh, king tide comes with plenty of waves and it would be about 20 to 30 feet high. And the people who are being educated to know that it's mandatory that you leave. Because people in this neighborhood, they, was, they had to swim. They had to swim for their life. Because all of the houses were in the water. This is the University of the Bahamas. on a permanent vacation until next year.